Finance Minister Ken Oforiata presenting the 2023 budget in Parliament announced an increase in the value added tax VAT from 12.5 to 15 percent. The Finance Minister further announced some measures including cut in foreign travel by government appointees to save the public purse. But the Director of Research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, Dr. John Kwachi, said the increase of the VAT as a consumption tax is harsh and should be reversed. Dr. Kwachi proposed some taxes for government to adopt and implement. He wanted the tax net to be widened to capture e-commerce transactions other than mobile money. Now, e-commerce, we think, is a, is a big, uh, you know, a large booming area. Um, and somehow advantage should be taken to introduce some kind of levy. We believe that the transactions are undertaken mostly by people who have the means. So if you, you introduce or you tax them, it will be a more progressive tax. In the area of corporate tax, he proposed an increase in the base rate of non-extractive foreign companies from 25 to 45 percent. Then the telcos, again, we are asking for an increase from, uh, from 25 percent as the base rate to 45 percent. And also an introduction of a super profit tax of 10 percent. So this will be some kind of temporary tax. Once they are making super profits, you tax them. Now banks also, um, we're asking that the, the rate should be raised from 25 percent to 45 and a super profit tax of 10 percent. Dr. John Kwachi also called for the scrapping of some taxes imposed on ex pump prices of petroleum products. The taxes and levies include special petroleum tax, seven of them. Consider them those that can be abolished, abolish them, those that can be reduced, reduce them. Petrol is overtaxed in this country and something must be done about it. He believes when the proposal is accepted for implementation, there will not be the need for a national stabilization levy to be introduced.